Thomas's milkshake model. Once a year, the children of Sodor are all invited to a special summer party. There was to be ice cream and cake for everyone. Every engine wanted to be the one to take the children to the party. On the day of the party, Sir Topham Hatt came to Tidmouth Sheds. Thomas hoped that he would be taking the children. But Sir Topham Hatt chose Emily. He had other jobs for Thomas. Thomas, first you are to go to the dairy to collect milk to make the ice cream. Then you must go to the farm on the other side of the island to collect butter for cakes. All in time for the children's party. Thomas set off proudly. When Thomas arrived at the dairy, the manager told him he was to take the milk churns to the ice cream factory. You have to go very slowly, he told Thomas. So Thomas steamed carefully away. When Thomas stopped at a signal, he met Emily. Hello, slow coach, she whistled. I'm not being a slow coach, huffed Thomas. I'm being reliable. If you weren't a slow coach, Emily sniffed, Sir Topham Hatt would have given you my job. I'm fast and I'm reliable. That's why I'm taking the children. Emily looked very pleased with herself. This made Thomas cross. I can be as fast as you, he huffed. I'll race you to the next signal, Emily whistled, and she steamed quickly away. Thomas wished after her as fast as his pistons would pump. As he raced along, the milk churns rattled and rocked. They biffed and bashed. And at the next signal, Thomas raced ahead of Emily. Thomas was very pleased. He steamed off for the ice cream factory. But he had completely forgotten about going slowly. The ice cream factory manager was very happy. Thomas had delivered the milk in record time. Now the factory could make the ice cream for the party. But when the manager looked into one of the churns, he was very surprised. This milk is almost butter, exclaimed the manager. The factory manager asked Thomas if the churns had rattled around. Thomas looked worried. If you shake milk for long enough, it turns to butter, he told Thomas. Thomas was very upset. The factory manager was cross. You must go back to the dairy and get more milk. And remember to go slowly this time, he said sternly. Thomas steamed back to the dairy as fast as he could. When Thomas arrived back at the dairy, Sir Topham Hatt was there. He was very cross. Thomas, it is nearly time for the party, and you still have not collected the butter from the other side of the island. The children will have no kegs for the party. Thomas felt terrible. Thomas trundled slowly and carefully back to the ice cream factory. He didn't feel reliable. He had let everyone down. When he finally arrived with the milk, the manager told Thomas to take the old churns back to the dairy. But suddenly, Thomas had a better idea. Thomas steamed along with the milk churns even faster than he had before. 
he huffed up Gordon's Hill and chuffed down to the valley. He raced like a rocket and he wished like the wind. The churns in Thomas's freight cars rattled and rolled. They clanked and crashed and biffed and bashed. Even the cows and sheep looked up to see what the noise was. But Thomas couldn't stop until he got to the bakery. As he arrived, he blew his whistle long and hard. I need butter, not milk, cried the baker. He was surprised to see the milk churns. Look inside the churns, tooted Thomas. The baker couldn't believe his eyes. The almost butter was now butter. Enough to make all the cakes for the party. Sir Topham Hatt heard what Thomas had done. He came to see him. Thomas thought Sir Topham Hatt would be cross. He was very worried. But Sir Topham Hatt smiled. Thomas, you have saved the children's party, he boomed. So today, that makes you the most reliable engine on the whole of Sodor. And later, Thomas had his most important job yet. As guest of honor at the children's party. There was lots of ice cream and plenty of cakes. Everyone had a wonderful time. The children cheered for Thomas. Thomas felt very proud.